Trade Center Collapse on 9-11. Find the real truth. Engineers designed the World Trade Center with 236 perimeter columns and 47 core columns, all tied together by trusses to support those iconic open spaces. This is a straightforward system, where the load from the floors is efficiently transferred through the trusses to both the inner and outer columns. During the design phase, engineers considered the impact of the passenger jet plane, but overlooked something crucial. When the plane hit the tower, a huge fire was initiated by jet fuel. The raging fire weakened the core and floor systems, causing the floors to sag. As this unfolded, the sturdy perimeter columns carrying the loads started to pull and bow inward, causing the columns to buckle. As the perimeter columns failed, the loads were instantaneously transferred to the already weakened core through the hat truss, causing its failure. As all systems failed simultaneously, including the outer perimeter columns and inner core columns, it triggered a violent and progressive collapse. Engineers must stretch their imaginations during design phase. It's not just about anticipating the expected, it's about envisioning the unexpected. Foresight of possible failures becomes the key to ensuring structural resilience.